everyone, and welcome to a uh, disappointing video, I guess. Well, the video itself is not disappointing, but the news is because a while ago, if you remember, there was this old great game called Jurassic Park Builder. It's one of the games that found in my channel, and um, if it wasn't for that game, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be making content, um, and it was just because uh, Whitney showed me that, that game ages ago, I decided to make a video on it, and the rest is history. Jurassic World, the, Jurassic World the game, however, also came out. And those two games, even though they were basically the same, uh, kind of, you know, ran parallel to each other for a long time until eventually Jurassic Park Builder was cancelled. Like, the servers were shut down, but it had gone for such a long time. Back when there was no Jurassic Park games at all, we had Jurassic Park Builder. It wasn't much, but it was something. However, now something has happened where we have had another Jurassic game cancelled. Or, oh, well, Jurassic World game. The game that's cancelled is... Primal Ops. No, no, it's not Jurassic World the game. No, 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 it's not Jurassic World Alive. Primal Ops has been cut. That, you remember the game where you used to like run around, shoot dinosaurs, summon other dinosaurs, or shoot hunters, I should say. That game that came out about, was it six months ago? Hold on, I want to find out. January 12th, 2022, I made my first episode on Jurassic World Primal Ops. It looked like this cool game that, um, you know, had it showed a lot of potential. It definitely was something different from what we're used to when we, you know, it comes to a lot of park builders, Jurassic World the game, Jurassic Park Builder, Jurassic World Evolution. It was so nice to, you know, at least have something different. And little did I know that, you know, in seven months from that video, the game would be cancelled, and they've released this statement on Twitter. We hope you enjoy Jurassic World Primal Ops. On October 31st, 2022, the game server will be shut down. In-app purchases have been disabled, and they haven't put it here, but basically the game, you can, if you haven't downloaded it, you can no longer download it. So from this video, this is the 1st of September, there is now a basically two months uh, where you can play the game if you've already downloaded it. And what's brilliant is we'll get into the game. They basically unlocked everything for you. I think, you know, if you're gonna go out, it, that's a good way to do it, right? You I mean, at least give the players who have spent lots of time, lots of effort in this game, they get to unlock everything and get to do everything. And pretty much we can see what the game would have been at its end state. You know, we, we barely even got there in Jurassic World Alive. Jurassic World the game, we kind of got there. But those games just go on forever. So you never know what, you know, it finally is. But this one, we finally get an ending. Whether it's a, it's a good thing or a bad thing is kind of up to debate. But I've known this cancellation was coming for a while now um, because I was working on a sponsored video for them. I didn't sign any NDA, I'm pretty sure about that, so hopefully I'll be able to say that. Um, I'd finished my video, I'd sent it to Universal for approval, um, and they'd sent like, like two or three times they sent changes. And it was basically, from my perspective as a content creator, it was for the worse. Basically, they were like, oh, this edit, take that out. Oh, that music, that's not from the game, take that out. Basically, just make it a bland, boring piece of media, which is just like you playing the game. Wait, wait, I mean, did you want it to be successful or did you just want me to make a video on it? Uh, but anyway, that went back and forth for a while and then just communication stopped. Two months later, um, Behavior, the company that made Jurassic World Primal Ops, got back in touch with me and said they've decided to cancel it. Thankfully, they still want to pay me for my time and effort that I'd put into the video, which is very kind of them. But this does set a kind of dangerous precedent. They haven't told me why it was cancelled. They basically said that it was hard to keep up with the mobile game market, which I find a bit weird because they make other mobile games. I'm pretty sure they make The Walking Dead game. I've heard through the grapevine, through other sources, um, that the reason why it was cancelled might have been due to Universal, and basically that it was not making as much money as it, they wanted it to. Uh, which is very, very interesting. If we take that into account, that means that there, there was never any real want to make a Jurassic game except to make money. And now we're only going to be seeing games or projects that, I mean, uh, yes, it's a business at the end of the day, but that's fine if you're in something like stocks and trade. But this is a license. This is Jurassic. This is, this is more than, you know, numbers. This is people's nostalgia. This is, you know, they have a love for the franchise. And to see a game that didn't even last a year and people could have spent money on it and now it's gone. Um, 
I mean, the reason why it probably was, Universal looked at the, you know, the money this was raking in in comparison to the giant, enormous pile of money that Jurassic World Alive is raking in and went, yeah, it's not worth it, is it? Uh, just can it. And that kind of sucks in a way. I mean, I'm not going to say this was the best game in the world, but it definitely didn't deserve to be canned this quick. To put it in perspective, Jurassic World Live has been out since 2018, and the game has been out since 2015. This had six months or seven months, and they just introduced Season Pass, which is, you know, you pay a certain amount for every month, and you get rewards. They just introduced that, and now they've cancelled the game. It's very obvious to me that they looked at how much money they got from the Season Pass, and from there, determined whether it was worth it or not. That doesn't seem good to me. And this is probably the reason why we don't see other Jurassic games, because Universal knows that, you know, if you do a game this way, like Jurassic World the game or Jurassic World Live, a mobile game with in-app purchases, you're gonna make loads more than a game, you know, like a AAA game, like Jurassic World Evolution, because it's just constant. If, you know, the new dinosaur comes out, a new thing, and DLC kind of works like that, but you're only gonna get a certain amount of money from a person. Whereas with Jurassic, you know, the mobile games, you could get unlimited because they could put a new incubator in Jurassic World Live. And I'll hold my hands up. I did that and it was horrible. I'll never do it again. I still have not bought an incubator since that whole Rexy escapade because that's way more money than anybody ever should spend on that game. But I know that if I, if I don't keep doing that, I'll just start dropping in the ranks if that's something I care about. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of this cancellation? From my perspective, it wasn't the most engaging game. It was good to burn, you know, an hour or so if, if you even could do that. But in the end, it wasn't a game that really held my attention. And maybe the cancellation is warranted. Maybe people just didn't play it. But it does feel like they looked at other games and went, yeah, you're not making as much money as that. Bye. <laughs> anyway, now we jump into the game because... You know, I played this game for a while and I was playing it just off screen grinding for dinosaurs and this is where my account stood. I never got more than a stegosaur. The, now that was it, that was the only epic dinosaur I ever got. Um, there was a glitch with the Pachycephalosaurus where I couldn't get a level 2 and basically these were all the dinosaurs. Um, I never got the Ankylosaur, Blue, Dilophosaur, all of these new ones. They even added the Giga into the game and then it was cancelled. Like, we always, I remember when I was playing this game, I was thinking, well, Giga's got to come eventually. And here it is, and the game's now just like, nah, you no longer play it. But, despite all this, if I go into my mail, here we go, a message from the game team. Thank you so much for playing Jurassic World Primal Ops. Unfortunately, effective immediately, we are discontinuing development support for Jurassic World Primal Ops, and there will be no further content or functionality updates on October 31st, 2022. The game server will shut down completely, game progress, in-game items, and user data will not be saved. And that that's the dangerousness of this, right? Because you put so much time and effort and money into these mobile games, and then that's it, it just disappears. And I'd spent a load of money in Jurassic Park Builder, and that's gone. I, it's not like I can play offline mode and just look at my park and play against computers. No, 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 no. You don't get to download your save, you don't get to play it anymore. It's like somebody goes into your, your, you know, your device and just wipes it because you can't, you can't connect to the, the servers and it it's just gone. That server's terminated, it will, it'll get defragged or whatever you want to call it and formatted and it'll just be put on something else. So everything, just, it, it just, it doesn't feel right to me when they do this. But anyway, uh, in-app purchases are gone. So they also say, please accept this gift, which should enhance your experience until the servers are shut down. And they say enhance. But they basically mean he has everything. 10 million DNA, 10,000 power, which means that you basically you could probably play for all like all day and never need any more um, power. And Kylosaur, Dilophosaur, Blue. So I'm just going to collect all this and we're just going to see what we're going to get here because it's going to be a lot. So we got, oh wow, it's actually different numbers. And Kylosaur, Dilophosaur, Blue, Inosaur, Giga, Giga. What is that thing? I have no idea what that is. Does it say? Gojirasaurus. Okay, give me Godzilla. Spinosaur. Oh, that's not even Spinosaur. That's the, um, the, not the Jurassic two-legged. It's the bipedal swimming one. Pyraptor as well was his. Spino, Tupi, Triceratops, T-Rex, and Tylithele, or whatever you want to call it. And boom. We're probably, are we going to end up going through? 
Oh god, the server's having to load like so many new dinosaurs, I think. Here we go. All the new dinosaurs. I mean, we saw when this game first launched that it, they were basically just taking pictures from Jurassic World Evolution. Um, but at the same time, some of the models were new. I don't know how many were copied. The Dilophosaurus. I kind of just want to go through all this and just, 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 just witness it. Blue, yes. Can we continue? Yes. What's the next one? And I played this game when it was in soft launch, before it was, you know, properly released. And I never got close to unlocking these dinosaurs. I played it a lot. And there it is, Giga. Which kind of looks like an Acrocanthosaurus. It definitely seems to have that animation. Which is a bit of a shame. Because that's very, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Jurassic World Evolution. And this thing, I don't even know what this is. But apparently it has a frill. It's basically a Dilophosaurus, just slightly reskinned. The Mirror Gaia. Ooh. Ooh, that's quite nice, actually. I like that model. Different to Jurassic World Alive. It's not the first time we've seen it. Um, no dinosaurs. And what's also interesting is that Dominion is now ended. The Jurassic World franchise has come to an end. And just as that comes to an end, we, I mean, all of us who make content... Oh, that looks so cool, though. Look, look at this. We're going to lose it. We're going to lose it. Whether it's in a bad game or not, it's debatable. But it was just nice to have another decent dinosaur game. And with the franchise over, we've now had this game cancelled. And, you know, content creators on YouTube and all over, people, dinosaur fans, Jurassic fans, are now left wondering what's next. I know I am. Hence the reason why I'm, you know, I'm over in Japan. Because it's like, well, I want to make content. But I don't know if Jurassic... Because for the past... Since 2015, I have known that there's Jurassic coming. A new movie, probably new games, and other content, right? But now I don't know. So I was like, well, I'm going to go to Japan and make content there because there's lots of stuff to do. So that's what I did. So it's, it's, it's just such a shame. Look at these models, man. I mean, that is... I, I've never understood the ginormous, ginormous heed of this thing. But there it is. Oh, look at all this. And a tapi jar. Is it a good tapi jar? Ooh! It is. I like that head. Looks like it could carry lots of fish in its goobles. New dinosaur rescue. And the triceratops. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna level up all these. I think they've given you enough to level them all up. And this thing! Oh wow! I love it! He's got like a little little angry eyebrow. He's like, <laughs> but really big eyes. Oh, we still got more? I thought we were done. That was the last one. Oh, of course. We never unlocked Rexy herself. And here she is. Um, they've went a bit too crazy with the bump map. Uh, why does she look like... Oh, the surface is sandpaper. Probably want to tone that down a little bit. Go on. What's it? I, don't, I used to know an app that would be able to control the normals and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm sure you're a team. You know what you're doing. So here we are. Now we're going to dinosaurs. Do I have everything unlocked? That's right, all the epics have been unlocked. But if you ever look, all these other dinosaurs, like Hararosaurus, Albertosaurus, uh, Pterodostro, um, there's, there's so many other dinosaurs that I just never got to unlock. The Metricanthosaurus, Sauropelta, whatever this thing is. It looks like the Gojirosaurus, Irritator. You, there was uh, even a Trosseraptor, you know, came into this game with Giga, you know, all this Dominion stuff. And then it was just cancelled. I don't know what is going on with his mouth there, but hey-ho. Uh, so, did I... I didn't... Did I... Oh, I did get enough for Stegosaur. I can rank it up. Yes! Oh, look at this! Rank 5. So, I don't think I have enough to... Oh, God. We're going to get a lot of these. Yeah, I'm just clicking in the middle. There we go. So, I don't think you have enough to actually max it up. Oh, no! Yeah, so 6. For every 1% stamina missing, gain 1% increased damage. Huh. So if you use Stegosaur and you're already... Oh, the this, this Stego stamina. So as his health goes down, it basically gets stronger. So what's interesting is they haven't completely broken this because you can rank up the dinosaurs, but you can't level them up. So you basically unlock all the perks, like 50% damage bonus to Grenadier enemies and stuff like that. Uh, but I think we should have a T-Rex... Uh, the Gigasaur, Giga, Giganotosaurus, or Giganotosaurus, and, of course, Spinosaur. I, I think we need to do that team. Hell yeah. You do not have a, a... Oh, does it cost gold to rank them up? Oh, it does. Oh, well, well, that was me, Till. Uh, what about leveling? 
Okay, yeah, I don't even have enough of that. But we do have a level one Spino uh, that I can't even... Oh, no, I can rank it up once. Level two. Sweet, I probably shouldn't have spent that all on the Stegosaur. That was a bit silly of me. But actually saying that, there you go. There you go. Boom. What's that? 4,000 amber in-game credits? Oh, yes. You know what? Maybe Universal was the one that gave this game the chop. But Behavior were the ones, you know, the studio behind this game. Behavior Interactive, I think it's called. Because I remember when I did the sponsored video, I had to be, I had to re-edit myself saying Behavior Interactive and not just Behavior. Um, they're the ones that have made this a fun experience now. Yes, the game's, you know, it's going into the sunset. But at least we get to have as much fun with it as possible. And actually... That is a... Oh, look at that. I'm level 29. Woo! So 50% damage bonus to feared enemies. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we've got 900,000. I kind of do like this final though as well. That's really cool. But we want the original. The, the scientifically accurate spinosaur sort of 2003. Where are you? There you are. Yes. Oh, God. Yep, yep. Keep going. Boom! And then, we'll, of course, the spinosaur family goes up. <gasps> Look, it's got like a little shocked emoji. What is this? Apply panic to nearby enemies after defeating an enemy. Ooh, interesting. Uh, so let's get the Giga. Let's rank up that Giga as much as we can. Boom. So you can get to level six. So for whatever reason. Oh, could I not do it with the Stegosaur because I didn't have the currency? Oh, maybe not. Hold on. Yeah, no, I could have. I just, I just ran out of currency at the time. Okay, so that's six. Level six T-Rex. Level six um, Spino. And a level 6 Giga. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. I just want to have a game. Let's, let's see what we can do. Uh, chapter 3. Oh, this is on hard mode. Now, how easy... Oh, yeah. Apparently, the, the game, for whatever reason, has decided that I've never played it before. So, it keeps on giving me, basically, tutorials. So, put T-Rex in. Take, take you guys out. Put T-Rex, Spino, and Giga. Boom. And apparently, the enemy is, like, way stronger than me for some reason. Which I'm not exactly sure. Um, it's yeah, it's it's warning me, but I'm pretty. Oh, you know what it is? It's because I haven't leveled them up at all. Ah, they're they're high rank, but they're not high level. Oh well, we'll give it a shot. I'm. A, it should be easy. I just I just want to summon them. Oh, of course it's night. Why is it always night in all the games? God damn it! Right, T. Who should we put out first? Apparently, Spiner's only six, and Giga is. Oh, let's put out the Giga. Go on, Giga. How easy are you going to be killed? You're going to... Yeah, I thought you were going to blow that up. Are you going to do any... Oh, oh, you are really not doing anything. Well, I think we need a T-Rex to come in here as well. Yes. And if we can, is Spino going to be able to? What we'll do, we'll do one of these and then we'll just max them up as much as possible. Look at them, yes. So the more, um, the more we level them up, the longer they should stick around for as well. Oh, oh look at that. Look at them. They're beautiful. Oh, this is brilliant. I love how there was one guy. Um, a little bit of mythos on this, because this game's basically dead now, apparently. Um, there was a dude who managed to find an exploit in the game that allowed him to basically open up crates over and over again um, uh, to get, like, one Rexy DNA each time or something like that. Oh, they even up updated the, uh, the chests as well. That's quite nice. They put the little T-Rex skull on it. But it still took him like ages absolutely ages to unlock the dinosaurs because he had to sit there and open crate after crate after crate um but after we made that video his account was deleted um which is so weird when i i don't think there was much time between that happening and the game being axed uh so but if anything at least he can log in now and get all the epics for free so you know it could be worse it could be I like how the uh, the pictures of the dinosaurs change. But as you can quite clearly see... Oh, look at the panicked expression. That's cool. I've never seen that before. Uh, yeah. I, I'm i pretty... Oh, God. Th thanks, Spider. He just walked into a crate and blew me up. Cheers. And there it is. Some sort of comm system which uh, this kind of mission I've done a million times before. Spider's just going to run through. we got a T-Rex. He doesn't notice he's right behind him. So, I don't know if it was T-Rex or Spino that... Oh my god, oh yeah, there's the panic. Yes. Fear their mighty presence, yes. Oh yeah, and Spino. There we go. We gotta get the three bad boys in here. 
sorted. Okay, and then we'll level them up and just see what the difference is. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna, like, absolutely trounce anything. Ah, uh, it's a shame. It's a shame, but, you know... Oh, look at that! You got 15 Sinoceratops DNA. Oh, yeah, so they added not only daily bonuses, but weekly bonuses, and then VIP members got, like, 100 DNA! So, yeah, the VIP was a thing that you could get, and... It, it really felt like they were starting to flesh this out. And before it could really get off the ground and try different things. Yeah, just completely axed. Come on then, Spino. Let's get you to at least level 10. Oh, yes. Thank God I just had loads of, like, dinosaur currency to spend. Because, uh... I don't, I, I don't even know what I was saving for. I, I, I had nothing to level up. Because the game was like... Uh, yeah, you, I'm, we're being really stingy. We're not letting you unlock, like, anything at all. So, thank you. And now, look, you're over. You've been cancelled. I want, I want to see this other thing, like this other Spinosaur. This looks awesome. What, what do you do? Oh, God, we're still getting the T-Rex families. Munch generates a shockwave, increasing the range of their attack. And applies a lacerate on hit. as a 50% damage bonus to gunner enemies. 100% uh, increased stamina against Fang Force. 100% increased damage bonus to Fang Force. So yeah, I mean, the, what I liked about it, it, it really felt like it was, you know, it did look... It was very similar to a lot of the other games that were like, run around, shoot a thing, and then level up your stuff. But, you know, it, it was at least trying something a little bit different. And let's be honest, it wasn't a park builder. Thank God. There we go. Get them all completely maxed up. A level 60 Spino. Level 60 Giga, and a level 60 T-Rex. All have apparently the same power level, but have different stamina. In fact, if you look at Spinosaur's stamina in comparison to Giga and T-Rex's, yeah, it's, it's not as good. Maybe it does more damage? I don't even know. Chomp? No, no, no. It does half as much damage, has half as much stamina. Maybe that's why the game was cancelled. You had loads of Spino fanboys ringing up and going, Yeah, make it better! And they were like, yeah, let's just, just, just cancel the game. It's way easier. All right, here we go. So they should last a lot longer. And because Spino's stamina is a lot less... Oh, look at this! Yeah, oh, in one. This is on the hardest difficulty as well. Yum. At this point, the grind was real, man. It, it took such a long time. To, like, kill enemies. The only dinosaur I had that would actually do damage to enemies was a level 10, like, stegosaur. Even then... Oh, my God. Look at that Spino go. I just couldn't get stegosaur DNA. Like, at all. And now the game is, well, yep. Yeah, a broken record. It's, it's over. But at least, you know, we get to have some fun. And even if you haven't played the game... Oh, sorry. If you have played the game, but you only played a little bit, now you get the opportunity to, you know... You, this game's probably going to see way more play than it ever has. Um, however, you know, it's obviously going to make no more money from it because it's all the in-game stuff has been cancelled. Um, which is great. I mean, at the same time, what would be even better is if anybody has actually spent money on it, then, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it does seem a bit odd that mobile games can do this, where you spend money on things and then you just, you, you, you know, the game gets cancelled. And you don't get a refund. Does it, does it seem right to me, really? But you know, I'm, it's probably in the clause of when you buy things. It's like, oh, by the way, if anything happens to the game, you can't get your money back. <laughs> and even when Jurassic Park Builder disappeared, um, the only thing that they would give people was if they had never played Jurassic World Alive or Jurassic World the game before. And then they would give people, like... Uh, extra in-game currency. That was it. If you'd already been playing those games, which, let's be honest, if you were playing Jurassic Park Builder at the time, you would have been playing those games, you don't get anything. So, uh, yeah. A last final hurrah for all of these dinosaurs. Ah, <sighs> well, you know what? It was fun while it lasted, but it's over now. Into the twilight. We liked you while you lasted. So if you have enjoyed this video, guys, Leave a like. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the description below. I think this will be the last video I ever create on Primal Ops. Because, well, there's nothing else to do. I mean, you, you can have fun in the game now. I'd say, you know what? If you've played it and it wasn't for you, 
I'd say give it one more shot with everything. You may as well. What, what, what kind of chances do you... You don't get chances like this very often that you can just basically have whatever you want in the game. And this was supposed to be the end game. How good was it supposed to be? I'd say check it out. Uh, they're not telling me to do anything like this. I just kind of want to. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye Oh, and I rescued a Sinusotops. Sweet.